liebe Frau Bethe und liebe Mitglieder der Familie Bethe, die ja auch hier in der Nähe wohnen, Frau Kornmesser als Vertreterin des Rektorats der Universität, seine Spektabilität, Ulf Meissner, liebe Kolleginnen und Kollegen, meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren, es ist mir eine Freude, eine Ehre, heute das Bethe-Zentrum für theoretische Physik eröffnen zu können. Das Zentrum wurde gegründet als Zusammenschluss der Professoren der theoretischen Physik der Universität Bonn unter Beteiligung von Kollegen der Mathematik. Es wurde im letzten Jahr beantragt und erhielt im Frühjahr die Anerkennung als Zentrum der Universität Bonn. Ich sehe, dass einige in der Zuschauer der deutschen Sprache vielleicht nicht so kundig sind und werde deshalb jetzt im Folgen weiter, äh, die Veranstaltung wird dann weiter auf Englisch stattfinden. Die Beta Center for Theoretical Physics is a joint, as I said, is a joint enterprise of theoretical physicists and mathematicians at various institutes, the university. In a, its aim is to unify the theoretical physics research which is done here, and it should play a role in enhancing our status in national and international co uh, competition. It should provide a forum for interdisciplinary research throughout the wide spectrum of theoretical physics which is present at these universities. The activities of the center include a short and long-term visitors program, more enhanced than what we had it before, It should organize workshop on dedicated research topics. We'll install a regular beta colloquium series, which will take place Thursday afternoon once a month. And we will also deliver lectures for doctoral students. The center should also be a tool to network with other centers in Germany, which we are already connected to via various grants from our National Science Foundation, DFG. This in particular includes the Arnold Sommerfeld Center at the LMU in Munich, and also the Center for Mathematical Physics at the University Hamburg, and also some networking with DESI Hamburg and Heidelberg, where we are closely connected already through our research enterprises. In the spirit of Hans Bethe, it will foster research activities over a wide range of physics, and in fact, It is in some way this the reason why we chose, among others, Bethe as the name for that center, because he was one of the people, of the very few people that still existed in the last centuries, which could contribute to the physics over such a wide range of subjects. To quote the late John Bacall, who says, if you know Bethe's work, you might be inclined to think he is really several people all of whom are engaged in a conspiracy to sign their work with the same name. Even today, when you browse through the archives and you just look for what appears in the title, so you asked, find T. Bethe, you will get a list of the papers in the last months and days which contain his name. And in fact, when you do that, you will be surprised how often his name appears in the title. Famous, of course, and also much discussed today, is still what is known as the beta ansatz. But there are also beta salpeta equations. Today, there was a paper on beta heitler pair creation. There's a beta cluster approximation, light cone beta equations, etc. And it still shows how influential his work was till today. In fact, he was one of the giants in 20th century physics with decisive contributions over almost eight decades. And that's the second point which was very amazing in Bethe that really at a biblical age he was still able to do original research. I remember that once I was in Santa Barbara and uh, a person whom I don't remember now from the National Science Foundation in the United States. He gave a talk on uh, the work of the National Science Foundation and at a given point, 
he tried to show some statistics how old an average principal investigator is for NSF research grants. And now the age of, a, of this principal investigator is, is, is measured the time elapsed when you got your PhD. So for them, you are born once you get your PhD. And then he showed this distribution. And the distribution, essentially what he wanted to show that in the last 10 years, the average age of the principal investigator had increased by 10 years. And that was something he wanted to explain. But then somebody says, but there must be something wrong with your plot. Because you see, you have some person, you have somebody there, a principal investigator, who is more than 50 years old, according to your definition. So you might guess who it was. <laughs> In fact, Beta made many important and pioneering contributions to physics. There's a book edited by Jerry Brown and Sheng Guan Li, the title Hans Bethe and his Physics by World Scientific, which gives you a very good account for it. Well, as the result of his work, he was the recipient of numerous awards and prizes, most notably the Nobel Prize in 1967 for his work on the energy production in stars. In fact, that was a very important problem for the 20th century. It was the problem. Because, as we are told, at the end of the 19th century, people said that uh, physics is solved. We know everything. We cannot learn anything more. And uh, the only, there was this slight problem that we didn't understand yet, or these people at that time did not understand yet how the sun works. Of course, trying to understand it at that time, how the sun works, just forcing it, wouldn't have worked, because by now we know that we had to invent, we had to learn what quantum mechanics is, we had to learn what nuclear physics is in order to understand that. And that has been developed. And it was at the end, Beta, who solved this century problem by understanding how the sun works. And this is a truly remarkable achievement. So we are proud that we can carry the name of Beta in the name of our center. And we are very thankful for the Beta family that they allowed us to use the name and that we hope that we can live up to the expectation. Thank you very much. So here I have some flowers from you. And if you have still some place in your luggage, you might <laughs> put this one. Thank <laughs> you. So, das ist für Sie. Bitte schön.